Dan here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Today, I am at, let me just double check, Artisans Angkor. Uh, it is a um, Cambodian artists area. So there's a whole bunch of workshops and stuff to see. Uh, I've given a pass. It's free. It's a free thing to do. Um, they, they do a whole bunch of arts and crafts thing here and there is a gift shop on the way out. So let's see what we got here. So it's not just this area. We have 48 workshops all around the area. And it says we are here. So I'm assuming this is where we are in here. So they have nine workshops within this area. And then they have more out here at the Pook Market, it looks like. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. So there's a soap farm too. That would be fun to get out to. That'd be really fun. So yeah, from people ages 18 to 25. And they teach them these crafts. That's really cool. I am a huge proponent for the arts, for sure. 48 workshops in 12 villages. That's awesome. And free access to healthcare. Gotta love that. tell you. Doing things through art and all for that's what we got over here. Oh my god. Cool to see the red sages. They just make it look so easy. I'd be lucky to get to stage two. Such beautiful work. This is gorgeous. So this is um, located not too far from Pub Street. Like this is, I don't know, 10 minute walk. Yeah, so when I was in Rome, you could see like the different stages of uh, outside of David. And, um, you know, the thought was, is like, you know, he was carving in to see the art that was living with inside. And I can see that here. This is gorgeous. I like how they actually, you know, they polish it to remove the uh, tool marks, but I kind of like the rough look of everything too. And I hate bothering them because they're working and they're learning. I guess they kind of understand that this is it. And I think I came, yeah, I'm trying to think it's like noon. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's cool. This just floors me every time I see art like this. Oh, 
Game. Beautiful. I just like how it's like, you know, it's not a. If in North America, it would be the whole different thing, right? So this is actually like a working studio. Gorgeous. You know, so you have things that are outdoors and they're just learning. Yeah, it's really cool. Definitely gives you a respect for the craft. 100%. I've never seen anybody show this place off in the videos I've looked at, so I don't know why people don't go to these kind of things. There's so many fun little things to wander around and do. I tell you, if I lived here, I'd want to try to get, I would pay to go to the courses like this. <laughs> Better. <laughs> how I said that I've ever seen anybody else filming this stuff and there's a crew here <laughs> today. So gorgeous. I've always been curious about lacquering. Yeah, it's like not just an easy paint job, like it's layer upon layer upon layer. Hydro burn. How's that? This is like a living museum, man. I love it. Okay, what else we got? I keep on expecting it to kick me back outside, and it doesn't. So if you spend $100 in our shops, 40 of it will go to wages, $1.30 for education, workshops, 40 cents. So 42 10. Operation expenses, which is reasonable. Contributions to the Cambodian economy. It's all taken care of. No personal cuts. Off beaten path, $65. Roll mulberry tree. Silk weave tour. Which we. This looks like very cool. 50 bucks to uh, craft it yourself. Carve your sandstone soaps on a wood piece, try your silk painting. That is really cool. Free. To the Angkor Silk Farm, register at the checkout counter in the shop. I might do that. This is so cool. Yeah, I like the fact that you know, it doesn't cost you anything to come in. You can come in, wander around, check out everything as it's going. And then, now that you're here, it's like, oh, hey, by the way, you want to learn how to do this stuff? You want to go on other tours? You want to do other stuff? You know, that's cool. Good way to market it to me. So this would be the gift shop. This is what I'm really interested in. Because... I been wanting to get something for myself. To support local artisans, I think I'm all in. Like how that's done. It's a... Uh, just, it, it, it's just an optical illusion. It's actually carved into it, so when you look at it, it looks three-dimensional. I dig, I dig, I dig. Did I do it right? I like that a lot. Oh, and they actually sell those too. And they have discounts. I assume that they go through seasonal things here too. So they make a bunch to sell and then 
whatever is left over at the end of the season. So long. Paint pull up my glasses, see what the scents are. The lighting in here is just off enough for me not to be able to see. I like the uh, reed diffusers because it's actual reeds. Like they, you know, they're bent and cockeyed and kind of resonates with me. That's how I am. Lemongrass, jasmine, ooh, lotus, and sandalwood. These are. Sorry. I'm a huge fan of Jasmine. Oh. Mm-hmm. That is nice. Let's see what the sandalwood's like. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is not nearly as um, woody as what I'm used to back home. I like. Okay, so I ended up picking up a solid perfume of jasmine. Nine bucks. Uh, locally made. So, and the um, one of the ladies that works here was exceptionally helpful. Had a nice long chat, talked about all kinds of the stuff here. And uh, yeah, it was delightful. Learned more. Um, shared a little bit about, you know, Cambodia and everything here. And uh, I'm, I'm coming back for sure. The, the one thing I inquired about was the... Um, sorry, let's try to get my face in this again. The... Uh, the silk uh, farm, the um, that is currently closed. Uh, they're hoping to open it uh, either later on this year or next year. So I won't be able to see that this time around. But I'm definitely coming back. Um, yeah, they had all kinds of nice stuff in there. Um, here's the thing too: the uh, the solid perfume. I wear jasmine all the time. And I would get mine from Lush or, you know, other companies and stuff back home. I would pay 15, 20 bucks for a little vial. And this is about double the size for uh, nine bucks US. No issues. So if you guys are in CM Reap and you want to enjoy a nice afternoon of learning about art, come here, man. Uh, like I said, every person I spoke to here has been absolutely wonderful, delightful. Everybody. Like even when I came in, the person that was gave me my pass <laughs> was nice to talk to the few people that were here. I'd have to say in general in Cambodia that the people here are outstanding. Well it's two countries in a row that I have been floored. Even once again just talking to Gentlemen, as I, I turned in my uh, badge, right? Because I would have forgotten otherwise. And uh, he apologized that I didn't have a tour guide. <laughs> so apparently they do have a walking tour as well. So so if you guys are coming to sleep, I will show you where we are. Because 
I didn't quite... Google Maps is Google Maps. If you've been to Asia, you know how it doesn't really do justice all the time. So we'll see. Trying to keep the sun. So if you can see, there's like a little alleyway here. So I thought it was going to be the street next. So if you're coming down, I'll show you guys. So the main street is down here. And that would be like the main drag where Pub Street and everything comes off of. So you come down. I thought I'd have to turn at the next street here. But as you can see, you look for this sign here, the Angkor, the Artisan's Angkor. And uh, then it's right down there. It's a little laneway. It looks like you're going into the back of somebody's yard. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a blast at the uh, Artisan's Angkor. That was fun. I'm very happy that I uh, happened on Google and saw that it existed and I'm very happy that I went I'm even happier that it was what it was lovely spot a lot of lovely folks that were there definitely was inspiring for me as a person that's creative and is artistic to uh, see folks doing classic art in that style just so so cool I've always been impressed with that kind of art and to see it actually being produced was not something I ever thought I would have the opportunity to do. So I'm so thankful that I had the chance not only to see it, but also that it's there for me to go back and check again. I know that when I was leaving, the gentleman was kind of apologizing to me about not being able to go into and see the, uh, the tour with a guide. And so my thought was, oh, I'll just come back another day. I'm not going to come back another day. I'm going to save that for myself for when I come back to see Reap. Because I, I love this city so much <laughs> that I want to have something that is like, you know what? I really want to go back and do that. And today was really a lot of fun. I know that this is not everybody's cup of tea. That's fine. You know, I think everybody finds pleasure in the things that they find pleasure in. For some people, it's, you know, watching a football game or playing golf or doing something. For me, seeing art being produced, seeing an art gallery, seeing anything artistic, yeah, it just resonates with me on a very, very base level. But anyway, enough of me rambling today. I really hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you get even a fraction of the joy that I got us today. If you did, you're in good shape. But anyway, I'm going to head off. I'm going to walk back to the hotel. I got myself a nice big old bottle of water for 50 cents. But uh, yeah, uh, if you are new and you like this kind of content, Feel free to subscribe, like, share, comment. If you have made it this long and you want to see something else, there'll be a link to the video over here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, everybody. Bye.